Hi guys and welcome to your collective tarot love messages. In today's reading we are going to take a look and see what are your person's, um, what are their thoughts, what are their intentions, what are they feeling, what are they thinking towards you and towards this connection. Okay, um, there's also going to be a part two to this reading and in part two we'll follow on with those messages and maybe go into more depth and detail on some of these messages. Um, also guys, just reminding you that this is a collective message. So it's not specifically intended for any sign, but if you've clicked on this reading, you're here for a reason. You were led here, you were guided here, you were drawn to this reading. Nothing in life is random, nothing in life is a um, coincidence. Therefore, you're here for a reason. There may be a message or two that is meant to reach you, that you're meant to hear, or maybe you're just meant to be reminded of. Um, as this is a general reading, for those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email is going to be listed below the video, as well as that extension link to part two of the reading. That's going to be listed just below the video as well. Having said all of that, let's go ahead and let's begin with the reading. So the person that you're currently connected to, the person that you're involved with, okay? It doesn't matter whether you're in a, like a relationship with them or whether you're just loosely connected to this person in some way, shape or form. We want to know what is this person's, we want to pick up on their energy and we want to know what they're thinking, what they're feeling, what are their intentions towards you? Is it sincere? Is it genuine? Like what's going on with them basically? This person certainly believes, okay, that their destiny is to be with you. This person um, believes that they have a, like, this connection has a sole purpose. And they have, um, it's almost like they have a responsibility to this connection and to you. And this is a very interesting way of uh, feeling and thinking about the connection. Right now, I feel like your person, the person that you're connected to is accepting or learning to accept who they are and you know where they're at and where the two of you are at as well okay um and if you have been through if you've had your differences in the past and if you've been through something tumultuous with this person um i feel like this person is learning more and more each day that it is their sole purpose to be with you and it is their destiny to be with you okay um, either this person is really focused on trying to re-attract you back into your life or this person is really focused on trying to um, move forward, okay? Move forward with you positively and move this connection forward in a positive direction. This person's soul, their energy, their vibration is and has been awakened since the day that they've met you and since the day that uh, they've connected with you. Okay, um, I feel like this person is slowly awakening to their spiritual nature, slowly awakening to their spiritual self. And when that happens, when a person is awakening or when a person awakens, they become very aware. They become very aware of, you know, their conditioned self and they become very aware of their true self. So right now, there's all these there's all these things that's happening to your person, okay, which could very well explain if you guys are going through something that is uncomfortable, if you're going through something that is challenging, if you're going through a disconnection, a discord of some sort, if you guys are not communicating with each other, if you are, but it's not the same, or if it's like, if the connection is really slow, if it's, you know, creeping along at snail's pace, um, that can be explained away by the fact that this person is slowly awakening. Um, and it's you that has awakened something inside of this person. You've stirred up some really new, foreign and exciting energies and feelings in this person. Okay, and right now what's going on is that there, there is this tug of war between their conditioned self and, you know, their true self. So deep down inside, their true self knows that it is their destiny to be with you and it was their destiny to connect with you. And they know that they have a sole purpose to you and to this connection, okay? Their true self knows this, but it's their conditioned self that is trying to fight this, that is trying to challenge this. And therefore, this is why, you know, maybe fights or disagreements or disconnections might be manifesting because there's this tug of war between two selves that is going, that is happening here as depicted by the lover's card. Um... The, their conditioned self is seeking comfort. It's, seek, it's seeking comfort. It's seeking familiarity. Um, their true self, however, 
okay, is inviting them to connect with you and to grow with you in um, unconditional love and unconditional wisdom, okay? And again, your person now is fighting this. This is what they're going through. This is what they're fighting. They're trying to challenge their true self, okay? Even though deep down inside, um, they know that they belong with you and they know that they've met someone special in you and they know that the two of you have something special, okay? But essentially, their fear is getting in the way. Even though their connections towards you are sincere and are genuine, and even though they know they have, even though they can't necessarily explain that they know they have a sole purpose to you, this is something that your person is struggling with. Um, okay? Um, it's This person, they feel like you're their other half. Okay? They feel like the two of you are just a two peas in a pod, like you're meant to be. They see a lot of... It's almost like they see a reflection of themselves in you, okay? And you reflect back to them a reflection of them, right? This person is, um, you know, their awakening soul, okay? Their true self is now facing this challenge and is facing this challenge to evolve this connection, to evolve this relationship that they have with you, okay? Their conditioned self is trying to dissolve it. Okay, not because they want to dissolve the connection or they want to dissolve their feelings, but because they're scared. Okay, because they're scared. They're coming from a place of fear. They're operating from a place of fear. Your person does have patterns, okay, emotional, behavioral, or even psychological patterns, which don't always serve them positively and which haven't served the relationship positively. Okay, those patterns can be destructive and those patterns do need to be interrupted. Your person also carries a sense of pain, okay? And it's the pain that's making them feel uncomfortable. So I don't know if, you know, your person is hurting and there's lingering pain from their upbringing, from their childhood environment, or whether it stems from previous relationships and they've had heartache and um, heartbreak and they've never really healed through, the, through this. Um, I don't know if it's like, you know, personal growth because personal growth you know often too is very painful so whatever it is i think there's a pain in your person's energy and they may be projecting that pain onto you or onto the relationship or you know you know the old saying and i, I know i quote this a lot but hurt people you know hurt others and what's happening is there's a lot of growth that is taking place between you and this person okay and in order for this connection to evolve there must be growth, right? And growth in itself can be, and even relationship, relationship growth is quite painful as well. And your person is scared of that. They're scared of the, they're scared of the growth because they know, okay, from past experiences, they know that with growth comes pain and it comes, you know, discomfort. And this is something that they are afraid of. Um, if you can honestly talk to each other, okay, tell each other who you are, what you feel, what you think, what you value, what you hope for, what you desire. I feel like they can, you can really grow from each other. And okay, and I think that your person will really respond to this um, kind of energy positively. If you can really put yourself out there, if you can really be transparent with your person, you know, what you want from them, what you want from out of this relationship, what you value, what you hope for, you know, um, then I think that there just can be a realization that the two of you can grow together, okay? You also need enough space to grow as individuals. And I think your person is a little bit scared. They're scared that if they were to jump into, into this relationship with you, they are scared of, you know, they're scared of so many things because they're operating from an energy of love. So if they're not coming forward, it's fear that's keeping, that's holding them back, right? If they're not communicating, it's you know, it's because they're operating from a fee, from an energy of fear. They fear rejection. They fear, um, you know, your response. They fear, they fear the relationship growing and evolving. They fear the relate. They fear the feelings. Okay, so this person could be scared to admit, like they might love you, okay, or they might have some really strong, intense feelings for you, but they're scared to admit that not only to you but also to themselves. So see how I mean that this person is, you know is operating from a, a sense of fear, from an energy of fear.
this isn't about you that energy of fear it's not about you okay you're not the one that's creating this energy it's actually about them they are unhappy okay they want to be happy but they're currently unhappy about something in the relationship it's about something that they need to heal within themselves it's not about you it's not about anything you've said it's not about anything you've done it's not about you know the way you are or anything it's actually not about you okay it's about your person they need to heal something within themselves okay and it could be a past pain it could be an emotional wound it could be um you know emotional um triggers it could be childhood pain, okay? It could be, you know, um, their mindset, their uh, self-limiting beliefs. They need to heal something within themselves, okay? They may lack self-love. They may lack self-respect. Um, and it's, it's only when, they be, when they'll begin to heal that, to heal that within themselves, and when they fully begin to love themselves, can they fully begin to love you? Because the potential is there and this person knows deep down inside, even though they try to fool themselves into thinking or trick themselves into thinking otherwise, they know that even if they never believed in soulmates, they know that you're a soulmate energy. They know that this is, you know, um, something very special and this is something very unique and they know there's something very special about you and that, you know, if they were to move on from this connection, they would not be able to replace you. And maybe they've tried, maybe they've tried to move on, you know, with other people, but you have not been replaceable, okay? They have definitely uh, struggled to replace you. So they're, they're aware of it, but they're scared of it. They're scared of just how intense this connection is, okay? And they're also scared that, you know, they're also scared of the growing and the evolving within themselves and also within the relationship. Um, you know, relationships are meant to last as, as you know they're meant to last as long as both people are growing both people are evolving both people are healing as individuals within the relationship okay um and you know because think about it your relationship in every relationship you've had in the past for that matter has evolved from two people coming together to meet their basic survival needs right and then to, to, to feeling secure, to growing spiritually, to, to raising your awareness, you know, raising yourself here. It's not, it's not that you're coming together. It's not you and this person coming together to create a whole, right? A picture that is whole. Okay, you're complete and entire individuals, okay? This person is not completing you. You're not completing them. It's not how this thing works. Okay, the purpose is the purpose of you know this relationship or any relationship is not to have someone else who might complete you, but it's to have it's to share with someone else your whole entire you know complete self, your whole completeness, if that makes sense. I'm hoping it does. Okay, but this person, their energy is sincere, their energy is authentic, their intentions towards you are sincere. But I think this person is becoming really fatigued by the intensity of this connection, okay? Because you've stirred and you've awakened some very, um, some very intense feelings um, inside of them. Maybe feelings that have laid dormant. Maybe feelings that, you know, were never really awakened before. And this person is really scared. They're scared of how much, you know, more those feelings and how they could grow and how much more intense th th this could get, right? Because they know that growth does mean pain, okay? It does mean even the growth of a relationship means it might it could be a painful one. And I think this is what your person is scared of. You know, they're scared of the pain that um, potentially this relationship could uh, cause them or it could cause you or it could cause the both of you. They're scared of um, there's this fear. OK, there's this energy of fear in your person. And I think, you know, I said earlier in the reading about, you know, the the conditioned self and now the awakened self, like their true self, the, the awakened soul knows that they have a soul purpose to you and they know that there is something very soulful about this connection about this union so they get that but it's their conditioned self that is trying to challenge that understanding that's trying to challenge that belief and whenever they you know come from a place of ego it's the conditioned self so if they're not talking to you when they really want to talk to you but they're you know out there trying to play games mind games with you or, you know, if they've lied to you in the past when they really wanted to tell you the truth and be upfront and honest about you, it's because their conditioned self is taking the, the, the drivers, 
the wheel, okay, it's taking, is at the driver's seat, okay, but their true self knows that you deserve the truth, their true self knows that, you know, this is a very soulful connection, a very soulful union, and they're, even if they're, if they've not believed in soulmates in the past, their true self knows that this is something, you know, exactly like that, a soulmate connection, you know, it, it's got the essence of a soulmate. They know that what the two of you have is something very special, okay? And there's just this sense of familiarity in you that they can't explain. Um, I can see that they are acting a little bit difficult, but that's because their conditioned self is challenging them. It's challenging their true self, okay? And I can see that this person is really fatigued by their emotions and is really fatigued by where the relationship is at right now. They're accepting that there may be a discord or a disconnection between the two of you, okay? But I think, see, to me, the way I interpret this is that the discord or the disconnection, it rather is between them, is between their conditioned self and their awakened self. But they're just projecting that onto the relationship, get it? So it really might seem like, you know, the two of you are not getting along, you know, you guys are just not seeing eye to eye or you're fighting or disagreeing or things are just not you know there's, they're not gaining traction they're just not picking up momentum but really it's there it's you know the discord is with their self is their conditioned self and their true self but they're projecting onto the relationship so again it is not you and it's not anything you've done or said it is with them they need to heal something within themselves. And this is something that they're struggling with. There is a healing quality to your energy. And I think you've been, you know, you've crossed paths for a lot of reasons. One of which was to help each other heal. And of course, to help each other grow. And growth means change, right? And change is scary. Change is necessary, but change is scary for a lot of people. And I think what this person is doing, they're pulling away they're pulling away from what this could be because they know this could be so much more if only they gave it the room and the space to grow but they're scared they're operating from a place of fear so they need to really push the fear aside okay they really need to push the fear aside i feel like your person may have been um deceptive in the past i feel like your person you know even their intent their intentions with you are honest and pure they may not have always been truthful with you um i feel like your person right now it's like they want to they're really uncomfortable they're like really super duper uncomfortable okay they may not be talking to you or if they are things are a little awkward um they want to make things right they feel like they owe you an apology or an explanation they want to you know balance the scales of equilibrium here they want to work through things they want um, resolution to where there was conflict or tension they want to make things right okay they want to do right by you but they don't know how to go about this and this is where your person is struggling right now okay so whatever they've said whatever they've done or whatever that's happened between the both of you understand that your person wants to work through this okay but there's a there's this energy of hurt and it's the hurt that is really weighing them down. So it's so important that they heal it within themselves. I'm going to leave it at that. And in part two of the reading, we'll just follow on with the messages, okay? Um, see how you potentially could help each other heal and help each other grow. If there is no contact, no communication right now, because for some of you, I think that's the, that's, um, you know, what's going on. The scales have tipped over and not necessarily in your favor. It might be a little bit one-sided now. Your person might be acting cold, might be acting distant. Remember, it's not you, it's them, okay? It's not anything you've said. It's not anything you've done. I can assure you that. The cards can assure you that. It's just that there's a bit of a tug of war going on between your person and, you know, their conditioned self, their awakened self. And they're awakening to new and foreign and exciting feelings. And it's a little intense. It's a little overwhelming. So, and this is their coping mechanism, pulling away to sort of, try and manage all of these emotions because this is new territory to them this is uncharted unexplored territory this is all very new to them okay they may have loved before but not like this like this is some intense stuff and it scares them so i'll leave it at that we'll follow on and see how is it that they're going to respond and react move, moving forward um what the contact communication might be like and when you can expect it and what you can expect for the future of this connection okay 
So um, follow me to part two of the reading via the extension link below. Thank you guys for your time, your energy, your attention. Please show your support if you haven't already by subscribing to the channel. Do hit that subscribe button, guys. It does happen. It does help um, for the channel to grow. And, you know, growth is always a good thing, right? Um, and also by liking, sharing and commenting. Thank you guys again. Bye for now.